Okay, today we're looking at a uh, American Standard slash train unit. Here's the information here. It's a TDD120R9V5F0. That's the model number. Um, basically, it's got a variable speed motor on it. And I don't know if it's the board or the variable speed motor or, or what it is. So how do you test it? Well, if you look up here, you're going to make sure you have you know, make sure that your blower wheel is spinning freely for one. Uh, jumper, you know, R and G, red and green. Make sure you got, you know, a good uh, 24 volt going to the fan. If it doesn't come on, you know, spin the blower wheel, turn off the power, spin, spin the blower wheel, make sure it's spinning freely. Now right here you have a CRC or CIRC hot and a CIRC common, which would be um, you know your hots to your actual motor. Make sure confirm that you have 120 volts going to that. Um, also down here uh, you'll see we have this here, which is the this is the wiring harness that goes to your actual motor. It's a 16 pin motor. Um, so basically uh, that 16 pin motor we got to keep in mind you know what is what on that 16 pin motor harness. Uh, basically here's the module that comes off of the back of the motor. Here's the motor. This, this sits here. It's basically like a three phase motor. You just to check this to make sure it's good you know, you just want to check ohms and make sure you have ohms, the same ohms reading across each of the three pins. Um, on the wiring harness, what we want to do is we want to take some thermostat wire like this, and we want two of these. So we're going to put both reds on R on our terminal block, and then both whites on B or common on the other terminal block. And then we're going to put both hots on 12 and 15 on the pins okay so keep in mind that blue is number one and orange is number nine so if blue is number one then we go one two three four five six seven eight orange is number nine so you go nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so basically what we want to do is put both hots from red on 12 and 15 and put both commons on leads 3 and 1. And basically if your fan doesn't come on, then you know there's something wrong with either the fan or the actual module. So if we're going to test the module... We want to make sure that we're getting the proper ohms readings across each of the three terminals because it's kind of like a three phase motor. It's the way it's been described to me, anyway. So if we go here and here, Okay, so we're getting 0.48 from from the first to the third one. Okay, so we go to this one here. Getting pretty much 0.4 
uh, somewhere around there. And then we go to this one here. And it's the same. So maybe safe to say that this is good, but I don't know. I'm seeing a little bit of a black mark right here, you know. So I don't know. It's definitely worth looking into. So if that's good, then it may possibly very well be the motor itself. And then we want to check ohms on our continuity on our wiring harness too to make sure that our, you know, uh, from 12 to 15 and from 1 to 3 is good. So, you know, if, you, if, you, if your ohms readings are off, then it's just the module. And then if your module's good, then it's the motor. If, uh, if you jumper up your your wiring harness correctly and you and your motor comes on then it's the board and it could also be the wiring harness if your if your motor doesn't come on so just check the ohms across the wiring harness anyway i hope this helps someone thanks